Well, good, good to see you. Uh, and this I, is our first of what I think will be many updates. So thanks for tuning in. This week, of course, a few key things that have come up for discussion. John Key uh, at the big gay out in the weekend. Let's start there. I wondered, do we want our Prime Minister going along to such events where clearly people are um, lacking a lot of clothing, drinking too much? Uh, it just, it's really just a big party day. I wonder whether being the Prime Minister of a country shouldn't be more serious than that. Are we looking for someone who's like down and drinking with the boys, or are we looking for someone who's a statesman? I think I see leadership as being more in that statesman department. Um, and I just don't think it's appropriate, no matter what function it is, if it's just all about partying and so on. I, th I think a Prime Minister needs to set a slightly different tone. That's my opinion. You, you may disagree, but that's the way I see it. And of course, other big news this week was that um, Richard Prosser from uh, New Zealand First decided to go out there and have a have a real attack on, on Muslims, uh, suggesting that they shouldn't be allowed to fly on, on Western Airlines. And I think we all realise this is just a little bit silly. Unfortunately, um, comments like this can have uh, quite a negative effect for us as a country, and I think has in this case. I mean, there are headlines that have gone around the world talking about New Zealand lawmakers and wanting to ban Muslims from flights. Uh, given that there's 1.6 billion Muslims in the world, given that we have trading relationships with many countries that have uh, significant Muslim populations, uh, and given that we actually live in a part of the world where we want good international relations with large countries who are Muslim, such as Indonesia, for example, I think these comments are hugely detrimental. We spend hundreds of millions of dollars to try to build our reputation. It's so easy to do damage to it, and that's what we've seen this week. And I think very disappointing, and it's not good enough just to say, oh, gee, you know, I got a bit carried away. I, I actually think that these are the sorts of comments where someone should say, hey, I'm standing down because it sends the right signal. Now, the other thing that's up for debate this week is housing. And this is clearly going to be a big debate going into the next election because we've actually got a real shortage in New Zealand. A lot of factors coming together to cause that. And uh, National, we've got Nick Smith on the job and he's going to do an investigation into the issue. Well, look, when I hear government um, and politicians say investigation, I think two things. First of all, I think here's a time delay. We're going to spend more time talking, talking, talking. Uh, I don't believe there's a lot of value in talking. I think value is an action and getting things done. And of course, the other thing about investigations, they cost money. You pay, once again, the taxpayer opens their wallet to shell out all this money to all these consultants who are going to have input into the investigation. Uh, I'm so tired of the approach that says, yeah, yeah, let's just pay more people more money to have more words on a piece of paper. It's not the way to run an efficient country. And we already know what the problem is. Uh, Dr Bollard, in his final speech, um, as Reserve Bank Governor, said Treasury had done the work the number one problem is land availability. And who's sitting on the land? Well, in Auckland, which is where the biggest problem exists, the biggest landowners are the government and the city council. And if we're really serious about getting the price of houses down, let's see the two biggest landowners make a decision to start getting rid of some of their land so that people can build and develop it. Time to stop empire building, uh, time to start helping the ordinary New Zealand family to get ahead. Hey, it's been good to catch up with you and look forward to catching up again next week.